Hello guys, we are back with our next lecture. In this lecture, let us go through acceptance testing. Okay, so basically we have done multiple testing still now, right? Yes, we followed multiple testings like unit integration. Okay, and we also gone through evaluation and multiple examples and multiple things, right? Yes, so basically acceptance testing is nothing but whether your application is working fine in real world. So basically when you are testing, so assume you are organizing an uh, event or a fest online guys, okay? So you took some uh, company and they have told you that you can accommodate 10,000 or 1 lakh students, there will be no issues, no technical issues. They told you in that way. So you'll be blind, you're assuming or you'll be testing with uh, your faculty, right? So you'll be informing your faculty. Okay, let us test this platform. So everyone come on, let us log in and let us uh, try it. So you'll be bringing at most 10 or 20 students or 20 faculty only, right? So you'll be bringing a minimum number. So at the time of your fest, everyone will be logging in, right? So your 1000 or 10,000 students in your college, everyone will be logging in. At that time, the server may go down or the server may crash. So these are the commonly seen issues, guys, because even though the software is able to handle, but it is not accepting that many users. So that is the issue there. So you can say that their acceptance testing is not done properly by your faculty. So they should check, right? So they are checking with 10 to 20 only. Why? They can just inform the students, okay, we are just doing a test run. Everyone, please log in and let's test it once. They can ask them, right? So they are not doing it properly. So that is nothing but acceptance testing. So it is also called as red box testing. So when custom software is built for one customer, a series of acceptance tests are conducted to enable the customer to validate his requirements. So he should check according to his requirements, guys. So basically when he's requesting the software, he told that he need to allocate minimum of 10,000 students. But when he is testing, he is testing with 10 or 20 students. That is the main issue. Okay. So this is conducted by the users rather than the software engineer. So basically this test will be done by the users that are our students here. Okay. So the basic definition of acceptance testing will be in this way. So it is an end to end testing, which is done by the customer for a particular period of time to make sure that the software is running according to the real time business scenario. Right. Okay, so this is all about acceptance testing guys. So I hope everyone got some basic idea. Okay, so in the next lecture we will be going on through alpha testing. Okay, so let us meet in the next lecture. Thank you. Thanks for watching.